So our first award winner is Nadia Swarovski. She's receiving the Accessories Pioneer Award. Since joining the family firm nearly 25 years ago, Nadia has established the brand and herself as a patron of creativity and an enabler of young talent. In 2007, Nadia launched Atelier Swarovski, a jewelry and accessories line which celebrates creativity, innovation, and craftsmanship. Since 2012, Nadia has spearheaded Swarovski's sustainability strategy and overseen the company's corporate social responsibility initiatives. I can, I can vouch for that. She has beautiful, beautiful jewelry, and she really does speak highly of sustainable jewelry. All right, with her guidance, Swarovski crystals are now recognized as the greenest on the market because of the company's longstanding commitment to ethical and sustainable practices throughout its manufacturing processes. A dedicated philanthropist, Nadia set up the Swarovski Foundation in 2013 to support charitable initiatives and organizations working in three areas, culture and creativity, promoting human empowerment Empowerment and conserving natural resources. She also champions gender equality on international platforms and uses the company's brand visibility to promote women's empowerment. Swarovski is a signatory of the United Nations Women's Empowerment Principles and part of the UN Women UK National Committee Corporate Advisory Group. In 2018, the company supported a research program with BSR, the Business for Social Responsibility, to explore and improve the lives of women in the jewelry supply chain. Everyone, please welcome me or join me in celebrating Nadia Swarovski, the recipient of the Accessories Pioneer Award. Thank you so much. Um, I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> no, in any case, I just wanted to say I'm so humbled and honored about this. Wendy, thank you so much. And actually, I would like to really shed the spotlight on you. I think it's amazing oh what God. you have done and um, for having created this platform for uh, women to be recognized and acknowledged. And I think also for emphasizing the voice and giving women the voice. Um, to express the various different elements of their lives and, you know, the hard work that we all have gone through. Um, I have to say, sometimes it does feel that women have to work twice as hard as men do, which we, of course, love and adore. Um, and that's why it was also very important for us to sign on to the UN Women Empowerment Program, which is um, very much for women, never against men, but pro-woman, but actually pro-mankind. And that was really my mission moving forward um, in my career in the last 26 years at Swarovski and now forging ahead um, by myself individually, setting up a new fund. Um, in this new fund, my previous job, Crystal, was the sparkly ingredient, but in the new chapter for me, it will be sustainability that is that sparkling ingredient. <laughs> and it is a sustainability that really allows us to shine the light on what's going on, but also emphasize the things that can be done correctly and um, in adherence to support people and planet. And I have to say, we totally believe in the triple bottom line, people, planet, and profits. And one does not have to, have to eliminate the other. It can be done hand in hand. So. I've certainly appreciated so much what we heard this morning because to me it really emphasizes community, equality, but also transparency. And I think this is how we all can make a tremendous contribution and continue to have a positive impact through this innovation and consideration for equality. So thank you, Wendy, and thank you, everyone. And I also wanted to say thank you to my fellow nominees. You, I have many more new role models. Judy, it's been such an honor to have met you. You're amazing. And I just want to thank everyone here for their amazing work. Keep it up. Never give in. And you know, the sky's the limit. And the community here has your back. So lots of love. <laughs>